hey, will you put her collar back on and let her outside? I blocked it with the uh, laundry just to try to keep her from It's on the counter, left counter. Was your shrimp? Yeah, I'm going too soon. I am about to make food, like right now, because Annie and Kara are both sick, and so Kara's just eating like plain oatmeal and toast, and I wanted something that didn't taste like nothing, so I was just waiting until she went to bed. <laughs> Now I need to figure out what I want to do. The National Football League brings us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. All the success so in New England over the last few decades in this crowd. There's a couple. We have a couple things. They were supposed to be in Massachusetts right now. So I had like... Uh, mic or not microwave, like frozen pizzas and stuff like that. Then I was supposed to make burgers tonight. Yeah, and I was supposed to make burgers tonight and I didn't. Ooh, I was going to make I make these things sometimes, not very often, called heart attack burgers. You basically like instead of making cheeseburgers, you cut little tiny cubes of cheese. And you roll those in to the hamburger patties with like cooked bacon, and then it it's just like a lot of grease and stuff, but it's so good. I'll make it for you. I was going to say, we were just talking about when you guys were coming. Yeah. From a venue that's been sold out since it opened back it's in we're 2000. We're going to be there in There's September. A look at the home of the Patriots, too. Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. Yes. Ago, with the, the, with the new baby. The Patriots introduced to this as always sold out crowd as they get set to go head to head with the Miami Dolphins. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at yeah. the 25. We'll be there for Labor Day weekend. for the 
first time with Antonio Gibson. And he'll take this ahead yeah. for about four. Well, second down coming up. Make them up. around that. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want, but on the defensive side of the ball, you scramble a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need uh, pressure? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? Rogers throw complete there to Smith. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Oh. Rogers now on first down. Eluding the pressure right. He'll dump that off to Gibson complete. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring Do up you a need to finish the first game here. in order for that one to be good? Yeah. On play action, Rodgers. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They mm. say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Could be four down territory, even if they don't get this, but they need just a few inches Mason, here on third. Like, I was playing the first one with t my two roommates. They'll run with Gibson. And uh, we were playing it's it together, and, and then we ended up getting on different shifts at work, and it was, they worked in the mornings, and I worked at night, and so then they played it, and I was like, yeah, I'm not going to play this game by myself, so I just stopped playing it. No, I had it for, uh, PC. Today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers. They move more over the place anymore. to try and find good matchups. If I had a PC, then I'd still technically have it for PC. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. From the gun, it's Rodgers on the move to his left. And he is out of bounds, looks like right at the 15. Six yards uh -oh. there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. Throwing is Rodgers. Flushed out right. Wide open receiver oh, complete. Have and it. for the moment, this will be a first down. You'd be. Yep. The Patriots will bring on the field goal unit. Right hash, 37 yard attempt. And his kick is right there. It's oh. good. Season, probably a lot of thought goes into that first drive of week I can't one. remember. They I like, touchdown, but at least they I think I something. played like a good 16, 17 hours on it. A lot goes into the off season, the preseason to get to that first drive of the regular season. They went right downfield, mission accomplished, points on the board. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked out officially at the 21. Dang. <laughs> Interesting. pick up about four it's second down well on every play call you realize it's not going to go That's... for a touchdown so a <laughs> lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game trying to establish the inside run run with toughness now hopefully get to the perimeter later and let's face it you could do worse than a four yard run on first down Uh, From the 25 on second down, Minshew flushed to his right, and it's caught the tight end Hill. A gain of four last play, they doubled that here and get eight. 
From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Uh, That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Let's face it, that's just a helpless feeling that for a sense. running back Let's there. He's looking him. up to find a hole, and all he finds is a whole lot of ticked off linebacker. Now on second and 13, Minshew escaping the pressure right. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Yeah. Darius I mean, with a pick. And it makes sense, but also doesn't. Possession here at their own 47 yard line. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. Well, what do you think? You get the ball off the turnover near the middle of the field. You take a shot here in the first play? You know I'm big on that. I love when I have great field position. After a turnover, I feel like I might have them a little bit off balance. I prefer to take a shot. A lot of coaches will tell you, you only do it if you trust the guy who's got the football in his hands. Meaning, if it's not there, he won't force it. The heck? And maybe turn into an interception. He'll go to the check down, go to a second option, and go ahead and take the play that's in front of him. What the heck? That makes no sense. <laughs> Fake the give. Now Rodgers. Here's Fuller with a catch. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. Because <laughs> that's what you need in a zombie apocalypse. Just throw some snowballs. Absolutely great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to build uh -oh. that? And he stopped immediately there. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. <laughs> to throw is Rodgers, eluding the pressure right. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Antonio Gibson. There to make the grab. And the Patriots, they add on to their lead. Wait, really? And his kick is no good. It's an early miss. We'll see if that has any ramifications he later. Here's the did. afternoon wears on. So with the miss PAT in his rear view mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And Charles, nothing like squaring off with a division opponent, a division rival in week one. Do you like that they are matching up this early? Or would you prefer a game like this be a few weeks down the road? I actually like the early matchup for a few reasons, Brent. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. Touchdown, Dolphins! Cooper Cup, 75 yards. 64 and the Dolphins strike quickly here for six points. Extra point by McPherson, good. <laughs> I was just and like, uh, 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 uh. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Pats at the line ready to go. And for them a touchdown their last go around. Obviously they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going? Over the middle and there's a diving catch. A good down to possibly take a shot. And in fact, they'll come up with an empty backfield on second yeah, and inches. Much yeah, it was March 2020. I also only know that because... Okay, technically it was in 2019, hence the 19 part of COVID-19. Wait, okay, don't understand. That doesn't quite make sense, but okay. 
incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. Shotgun handoff to Gibson. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Antonio Gibson is an absolute dart with the ball in his hands, and he can make you miss, and he can run over you. Took a little while to crack the starting lineup as a rookie, but boy, was he sensational when he did. Went for 115 yards and three scores in the Thanksgiving Day clobbering of the Dallas Cowboys. And Washington, they felt like they had a real find when they took him in the third round last year, number 66 overall, and he justified their decision. Through one quarter, 9-7 our score. Second and ten. Working from the gun, Rodgers. Catch made here by Campbell. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Ran the perfect defense in this situation. Would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync stayed in great communication and as he dragged across each zone you see him pointing communicating there he is and they passed him off to each defender ended up making a nice play even though it was complete well they came up with points in their first two possessions but it looks like they'll come up empty here on their third drive the defense finally starting to get locked into them a little bit might have to go a little bit deeper into their playbook on their next possession on fourth down on is colby wadman now to punt Where is he? Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now like for the a touchback. Whole time. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And following that long touchdown pass, a one play drive last time. Let's see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last time. I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. Wait, aren't those right Final next to each defense. other? Not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. Yeah. Back to Mixon on second down. Okay. At the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Gotcha. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Wow. That's actually really funny. It's Minshew. And it's oh. incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Oh, that's good. They certainly have the right read on that one. The weak spot in a cover two defense, right down the middle because it really stresses the safeties. And they're going to be a little bit frustrated they weren't able to connect on that one. Yeah, I will. I got a. Trumps a tackle. I got a. Finish this game, so I'll probably play the second one. I would assume. And the Patriots take over. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. Flush to his right. On the oh. run, he'll let this go deep right side. Oh, wide open, complete. And he takes it all the way down to the three. <laughs> Big play there for New England. We see this happen so often. If you're a defender, it's like watching a bad movie over and over. The pressure is good, forcing the quarterback out of the pocket. But it's a lot to ask for these defenders to stay plastered to receivers long enough. And sure enough, they let a man come open, and the connection leads to a big play. Gibson. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Antonio Gibson, already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Patriots are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. This time, the extra point up and good. And that makes this a nine-point game. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And it'll 
come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. I'm getting spanked. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And they're yes. coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet. I'm mean, just talking for right now. But Time to shake things up a little I hope bit to try and get this offense play moving. like okay, so the second one that you guys end up playing. You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked Go to so something well, else. And maybe try and find one of those special plays from one Here. of your better players. That was and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. They'll lose a yard there and it's second and eleven. That was not it. Oh, that was not that easy. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. You're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Looking to throw it, Minshew. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Jeremy Chin picks it off. And he'll return this ball across midfield to the 47-yard line. And that was one I kind of saw come in charge. He had a free safety just hanging back there over the middle, waiting. And he saw that ball go in the air, and he jumped on it. And I don't know why the quarterback didn't see that. That was just your standard cover three, which means the free safety in the middle of the field, the two corners, and they divide the field in thirds. But when you have a free safety with range, like a good center fielder, he can go from side to side and make plays on the football, as he did there. That was nice work there defensively to force the incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. And I'm pretty sure you just will care up, so. Escaping the pressure right. Now look out, Rodgers. Yeah. Lost the football. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And he's free going down the left side. It's a no, yeah, I am. And this is <laughs> just being right <laughs> Take it to the house for a Miami touchdown. <laughs> McPherson now for the extra point. Oh, I just shanked that <laughs> so fast. It. It's no good. And that will keep this a three-point game. <laughs> no, I'm playing that in, but I just missed the kick so bad. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on like the one of the, the easiest kicks I could have ever made. That a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Pats at the line, ready to go. They'll be looking to make Ooh. amends for the events of a moment ago. A fumble return for six points. You absolutely have to protect the football. That's got to be priority oh. number one because margin for error is starting to slip away. Now it's down to a one-score game. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open <laughs> target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. Man, I was like... All hyped. Rogers will try again on second down. Rolling to his right. And he'll be up in it at the 28 the... yard line. Just a three yard oh, game there. Oh. <laughs> and we've hit the two minute mark Whoops. in this first half of action. <laughs> We remind you that coming up in two minutes, we'll again head down to visit with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando back for another year. He'll have scores from around the NFL here on this opening weekend. That's out to the flat for Gibson. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. As long as we're there, how did you like actually done that? The ground, we can live with that. But if you're gonna give up 10, Haven't you actually done that? The catch, then your defense is gonna I couldn't remember control. if it was. I couldn't remember if it was you or somebody else that I had. Good game so far. He had his eyes on the end zone. He got close. At least he set the offense up nicely, but he's probably mad he didn't take that one to pay dirt. I agree with you, and you know he's.
is going to get teased because he didn't get it all the way into the end zone. But if they don't score now, if they don't get a touchdown, he won't just get teased. They'll be glaring at him. How'd you not score? And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Mixon trying to punch it in. And he's going to ball his way into the end zone for the Dolphins score. Joe Mixon, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Dolphins have taken the lead. Right, that's a lot better. <laughs> that was game. so bad. So after the made field goal, here's McPherson to send this one away. Alright, I think I found New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And now with still more than a minute to go in what's been a tight game, you figure we'll try to see them move the ball downfield. And remember, they get the kickoff to start the second half, so this is a golden opportunity for them to go down there and put up a couple of sixes. Throw left side is complete on the diving effort. That is such a nice catch. He has plenty of people around him that are concerned for his health and well-being. He had no regard for his body on that catch at all, did he? <laughs> Middle of the field, diving to grab it? No, he didn't. I thought it was a pick. First down is Rogers. Throw right side taken in by Gibson. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. Oh, and that'll make always, it that'll always get you. Shotgun now for Rogers. He's letting this one go oh for my goodness. Touchdown, Patriots. Will Fuller, 48 yards. And once again, the Patriots are back out in front. That could be an important swing right there. A touchdown of the final MLG minute for and a half to take phase. the lead. And I like the point you just made there. Could be an important swing because now that they have the lead, if they can carry that into the locker room at the half, They'll feel really good about what they accomplished in the first two quarters. Point after, right down the middle. And that gives him a three-point lead. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Christian, did you order stuff yet? The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And they've got less than 30 seconds to go here, so not a lot of time to work with. Throwing on first down is Minshew. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill complete. What did you say? Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. I said, what did As you say? As it comes say? with 22 seconds to go here yeah. in half number one. I had asked if you ordered all your now stuff yet. To start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Minshew sets to throw. He'll buy some time right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. Minshew going to be intercepted for the third time. Darius Slay with a pick. And the Pats will have solid field position here as they take over at their 45-yard line. Well, Charles, you know, so close to halftime there. You throw the interception. Not only that, you just get took it, it out of my hands. As well. yeah, they were pushing real hard to try and get something on well. the board on their side of the ledger right before the half. Looking at it with 20-20 oh. hindsight, though. Might have been better to hand it off a few times, hoping to get something to break instead oh, of putting the yeah. ball in the air and, of course, putting the ball in jeopardy. Sliding out of the pocket. Gets this to Campbell out on the right side. And oh. with just four seconds left in this first I half. I have 1-8 riding on this. Don't screw it up. And in 
unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. A final shot before half for Rodgers. Open man completes it to Claypool. And he is I'm sorry, this is so bad. Now before he's inside the 30. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! You're betting with LOL. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Cheat. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And Charles, they trail here, though not really the fault of this offense. No, they certainly did their part in the first half. But when you're in a shootout like this, you definitely want your defense to play better, but you know that's out of your control. All you can do, keep putting points on the scoreboard and keep giving your defense opportunities to make stops. Second and five now. Minshew eluding the pressure right. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Uh -oh. Joe Mixon. Able to drop him for a loss of a couple. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the ball. This pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. O'Donnell, he's on to punt as he gets this one away. This is fielded at the seven. What the heck? Great blocking on the return. It springs him for 25. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Mix an ISNT doing anything for me. The Pats at the line ready to That's go. That's such a and both of like these defenses weird, have been stifling these last few situation. drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to how did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. Doug Costin on the tackle. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Shotgun now for Rodgers. This is brought in by Gibson. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. When we see another great performance like this out of Aaron Rodgers, you have to chuckle thinking that his only FBS offer was a walk-on at Illinois. And now he's the pride of Butte Junior College, of course at Cal. And I remember watching him play at Cal, and he would run seven-on-seven -seven drills. Angry if the ball ever hit the ground. And it didn't do it very often. As soon as I saw him break contain and get outside, my first thought and my eyes gravitated downfield because nowadays, most of these quarterbacks, when they do that, they want the big play downfield. They don't want to throw it short. In this case, he took the shot. Why are you blaming Allie for you being bad? Back to the air on <laughs> second down. That's Rodgers. He's got Fuller. And they move this all the way down to the nine. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the ten. Now Rodgers. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. Will Fuller. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Patriots add on to their lead. Point right down the middle, and his guys will take a 10 point lead. Will Fuller isn't fair. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. The 
The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. Second and ten. Third quarter of the season opener. Out of the shotgun, they run with Mixon. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And force the incompletion on first down, and you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. That'll be taken in there by Miles Boykin. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A big play there for the Dolphins. Mixon with a first down carry. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Here's second and a yard. Once again, they run with Mixon. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Officially, it's no gain on the play. And they'll remain a few inches shy of a first with third down looming. Whistles and a flag, and I believe a Dolphin got going a little early. Could be four down territory even if they don't get this, but they need just a few inches here on third. Here's Minshew. Flushed out right. Toward the sideline. Did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got them both down, says the side judge, and that's good enough for a first down. Now that's all about making something happen as a quarterback because instead of forcing something on third down, how about him buying some time outside of the pocket, waiting for someone to come open, and when he did, he put it on him for a big play and a first down. A second and 10 now, third quarter action from Foxborough. They go back to the ground now with Mixon, and nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Officially nothing on that one, no gain, so they're left with still 10 to go on third down. An important play right here, third and 10, and I would expect pressure here. Now Minshew. It's Hill, complete. And he's going to come up well shy of the first here as the tackle's made right around the 12. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. On now the Miami field goal unit. It's no good, and this score will stay right where it is. Down here in the third quarter, obviously that's one they could have used. Yeah, one of my favorite special teams coaches in the NFL told me what separates the kickers in the NFL versus the ones who are not is not the misses. It's the second miss in a row. Best kickers in the league, they don't miss two in a row. He's got to get his head back Dang together son. in case he gets another shot. All Madden kicking so They'll touchy. start on the ground with Gibson. He was brought down by Eric Wilson. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Facts, MOG Perfect Score. Second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Once more, Gibson gets this to the 24 for a gain of four. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, 
They want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And they work this well off field across the 45. But when you're up by two scores in the fourth quarter and you're going to throw the football, expect to see a lot of man coverage because usually what comes along with man coverage is pressure. So if you're a play caller and you want to keep throwing the football, that's fine. Just make sure your offensive line understands they're going to get additional guys running at the quarterback. On first and ten, it's Gibson. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the I ground. I have Patriots on my on schedule later. Stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. They'll go again with Gibson. Trucks over him. And he's across midfield and into Miami territory. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. New England on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This is third and four. Here's Rodgers to throw. He'll check that down to Gibson out of the backfield. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. So they'll wind up losing five yards on the play. And it'll be fourth down. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is set away. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. And throwing here to start the drive as they connect left side. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A big play there for the Dolphins. Now Minshew on first and 10. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. No well, blocking in that one. They're trying to go right back to him after the last completion. But this time, the defense was all over him. And they got there to break that one up. On second and 10, Minshew buying time to his left. And he'll just get rid of it. And now offensively, it's third and 10. And I'm just thinking to myself, actors always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now, the play caller is thinking, what have I done before that's worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half, scoring points. Man, Haven't loser. done anything so far here in the second half. He's got a rifle on deep left side. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Troy Apke. And the Patriots are going to take over once again at their own 37-yard line. If they had designs of kind of wiggling their way back into this one, that hurts their chances right there. They had to put it mildly. We look at the lead, look at the deficit, trying to make a play downfield. Mm. Everyone seeking to be somewhat the hero. Didn't turn out that way at all, and you're exactly right. It's going to take a lot for them to have a chance to win this one now. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? Okay. This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the game. I legit have right two now. minutes. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. On second down, here's Gibson again. And three yards there takes him to the 45. I mean, it should only take two minutes. He's about, he basically won. He just has to actually win. Pastor, you said big third down. I'd put the word big in capital letters here. So the Patriots with the football as we get you reset. Speak in the hospital. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. It's complete to Fuller. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. 
65 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this I'll size, face the Chiefs this later in the morning, even if the team is still computer. On. I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, He's the guy they've turned to, and it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Now, one final throw here is incomplete, and that is how this one will come to an end. So this will wind up a victory for the New England Patriots. And with that, our journey begins, Charles. Week one in the books. Going to be a great season. Oh, man, so much to look forward to. Isn't it nice to get a really good game right out of the gate? Preseason behind us. All these games count now, don't they? Yeah, this is the exciting time with just one week gone and plenty of weeks to come. Dang. So for the Pats, that'll be a happy locker room as they start this season 1-0. And they will hit the road next week to take on the New York Jets. Meanwhile, for Miami, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they will get a home date next week as they will take on the Buffalo Bills. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.